No person shall hold any office who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, engaged in insurrection or rebellion. Chances are the 14th Amendment isn't near the top of your most familiar constitutional amendment list. In fact, it's probably behind the 1st, 2nd, 4th, 5th, 13th, 15th, 19th, that tax one, the drinking one, and the other drinking one, too. But here's why the 14th could be one of the very most important of 2024. See, this insurrection disqualifying language was ratified following the Civil War as a way to keep Confederates and their sympathizers out of office. It does not explicitly require a criminal conviction, but it was really only used between 1868 and 1872. That was until 2022, when a court removed from office a New Mexico County Commissioner, also the co-founder of Cowboys for Trump, and disqualified him from ever holding office again based on his participation in the January 6th riots. And then December 2023 happened. A bombshell ruling from the Colorado Supreme Court. Mr. Trump is disqualified from the primary ballot. A majority of Colorado Supreme Court wrote in its split decision, Trump is disqualified from holding the office of president under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Former President Trump responded on Truth Social, what a shame for our country, a sad day for America. And his campaign spokesperson said they would appeal and promised the decision would be overturned. There's only one court that can do that. This is surely going to the U.S. Supreme Court. So all eyes now shift to the nation's highest court, which may have to consider whether this 155-year-old amendment, which doesn't actually mention the office of president, should prevent the Republican frontrunner for president from winning an election. Uncertainty that Coloradans are hoping is settled before they go to the polls on Super Tuesday, March 5th. I know you mentioned the history. Let's now talk about the new precedent that could be set by both the Colorado and U.S. Supreme Courts. What happens, this is the million-dollar question, if this ruling is not overturned and Trump is not put back on the Colorado ballot? Do we know? Well, it's, it's speculation at this point, but the precedent could be set for other states to try the same thing, other groups to sue Donald Trump in other states to remove him from the ballot in the electoral process there. There's also the precedent that could be set politically where Republicans may start going after, say, President Joe Biden, trying to remove him from ballots. Now, we should point out, he obviously hasn't committed any acts of insurrection that we know of, but... Again, you set precedent, you have to live with that precedent, which is why so many people are watching this closely. Sam? Rare times where any permutation that you just described, I think, would be believable. Noah Pransky, thank you so much for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.